Good morning. Today is Friday the 13th of August. Have you been away? Margaret and I used to help with a monthly service in a care home in Clitheroe and one of the ladies was always very friendly and had a big smile welcoming us when we arrived and she always asked have you been away? But then you realise that she asked it every month and often a couple of times throughout the service. It was the kind of question that I remember people asking in my hometown in Lancashire, but then everyone went away at the same time. The whole town closed for two weeks. The mills emptied, well, apart from the maintenance gangs, and the shops closed all week, or maybe open just for a few brief times in the morning for essential food. It was a quiet and pleasant time. The week's, week's holidays were important times when people could relax and enjoy some free time and meet their neighbours from the same street in the same holiday towns that they all visited every year. Recently, everything has been closed down again. and There have been too many sad events and not everyone has coped well. But strangely, nature has benefited with less travel and pollution, and we've had time to rethink our lives. Now the pandemic is being tackled, there's a great desire to get away and have a break from regular routines, even if we have to pay attention to traffic light systems for foreign holidays, or just make the most of our own wonderful countryside and coastal areas, even if we do have to take potluck with the weather. So many of our holidays are based on religious festivals and in the Bible at least nine annual holy days are mentioned. Celebrations for Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits and many others. And of course the weekly holy day, the Sabbath. We celebrate Christmas, Easter Day and Pentecost as important times in our calendar. And people of other faiths also have their festivals and holy days. These days are important to us all as human beings. Studies have shown that taking time away from the job can have physical and mental health benefits. People who take holidays have lower stress, less risk of heart disease, a better outlook on life and more motivation to achieve goals. Well, I assume this ignores the stress of crowded airports though. Back to my memories, I remember when almost everything closed on a Sunday and although more people went to church, even those that didn't benefited from the breaking routine with a quiet day for meeting family and friends, a walk in the country or in the local park. In Leviticus we read, this shall be a permanent statute to you. In the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall humble your souls and not do any work, whether the native or the alien who lives among you. For it is on this day that atonement shall be made for you to cleanse you. You will be clean from all your sins before the Lord. It is to be a Sabbath of solemn rest for you, that you may humble your souls. It's a permanent statute. Let's pray. Creator God, who breathed this world into being, who is discernible within the harmony of nature, the perfection of a butterfly's wing, the grandeur of a mountain range, the soaring eagle and the hummingbird, the crashing of the waves, Thank you for this world which you have created. Thank you for summer sun, which reminds us that your creative breath is still alive and active. That thank you for the warmth of your love that's sustaining this world. And thank you for our senses that enable us to enjoy and marvel at creation. Creator God, you have made all things You've given us time for work and time for play, time for striving and time for resting and refreshing. Help us to use these times wisely and always in praise of you. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you today and throughout the holiday season. Have a good day.